Hello everyone, this is our physics practical class. Now we are in the second session of the second experiment called screw gauge. In last session we had measured the diameter of the spherical ball using screw gauge. In this session we have to measure the thickness of the glass sheet and we have to find the volume of an irregular lamina by using screw gauge. First we have to measure the thickness of the glass sheet. Before going to that, let us discuss the observation part. I had already explained this observation part in detail in the last class. So now I will brief once again. We know that in screw gauge we have two scales, one is pitch scale and another one is head scale. In pitch scale the value of each division is 1 millimeter and we have 100 divisions on the head scale. The first thing in the observation part is pitch. Pitch means for one complete rotation of the screw, how much distance the circular scale will move forward or backward on the pitch scale is known as pitch. The formula to find out the pitch is distance moved on the pitch scale divided by number of complete rotations given to the screw head. In the last class itself I showed that if I give one rotation to the screw head then the distance moved on the pitch scale is 1 millimeter. If I give one rotation then the distance moved on the pitch scale is 1 millimeter. If I give two rotations then the distance moved on the pitch scale is 2 millimeter. If I give two rotations then distance moved on the pitch scale is 2 millimeter. If I give three rotations then the distance moved on the pitch scale is 3 millimeter. So the value of pitch is 1 millimeter. So the value of pitch is 1 millimeter. Then total number of divisions on the head scale. There are 100 divisions on the head scale. So total number of divisions is 100. Then least count. Least count means the least value or the small value that can be measured by the instrument. The formula to find out the least count is pitch divided by total number of head scale divisions. We know that the value of pitch is 1 millimeter and the total number of divisions on the head scale is 100. So the value of least count is 0 0.01 millimeter. The value of least count is 0 0.01 millimeter. Then the last thing is zero error. In the method of finding the zero error we have three cases. Suppose if it is the pitch line then if the 0th division of the head scale is exactly coinciding with the pitch line in that case 0 error is 0. If the 0th division of the head scale is above the pitch line in that case 0 error is negative and we have to count how many divisions are above and we have to multiply least count to that number of divisions which are above the pitch line. Then in the third case if the 0th division of the head scale is below the pitch line in that case 0 error is positive. Here we have to count how many divisions are below and we have to multiply the least count to that number of divisions which are below the pitch line. In the last class itself we found the 0 error of this particular instrument. This is the instrument what we used in the last class. So the 0 error of this instrument was found to be minus 1 into we have to multiply the least count that is 0 0.01 millimeter. So it becomes minus 0 0.01 millimeter. This is about the observation part. Now let us measure the thickness of the glass sheet. Now let us measure the thickness of the given glass sheet using screw gauge. Here the first thing is object. Here the object which we are going to use is glass sheet. So the object is glass sheet. Then dimension. Here we have to measure the thickness. So the dimension is thickness. Now let us fix this object in between the studs. First place the object in between the studs and rotate this screw outwards until you hear sound. Now the object get fixed. Now we have to take PSR and HSR reading. To take the PSR reading we have to observe the pitch scale. Here this is the pitch scale. This horizontal line is called pitch line. 
this horizontal line is called pitch line and here in pitch scale the value of each division is 1 millimeter and this is the head scale which is also known as rotating scale and here we have 100 divisions here first we have to take PSR reading how many divisions can be seen in this pitch scale see there are four divisions first division is the zeroth division then this is one this is two and this is three excluding zeroth division there are three divisions on the pitch scale and the value of each division is one millimeter so PSR is 3 millimeter. Now we have to take HSR reading. HSR means head scale reading. Here to take HSR reading, we have to check which division of the head scale is exactly coinciding with this pitch line. We have to check which division of this head scale is exactly coinciding with this pitch line. So here 91th division is exactly coinciding with the pitch line. So HSR is 91. Here PSR is 3 millimeter and HSR is 91. Now we have to calculate TR. TR means total reading. The formula to find out TR is PSR plus HSR into least count. PSR is 3 millimeter plus HSR is 91 into least count is 0 0.01 millimeter. If we simplify this 3 plus 0 0.91. If we add this two, then it becomes 3.91 millimeter. So TR is 3.91 millimeter. Now for the second trial, we have to change the position of the object. Here in this case, PSR is 3 excluding 0th division, 3 divisions can be seen in the pitch scale. So PSR is 3 millimeter and HSR is 91. HSR is 91. So here TR is 3.91 millimeter. Next for the third trial, again we have to change the position of the object. In this case, PSR is 3 millimeter. PSR is 3 millimeter and HSR is 91. So total reading is 3.91 millimeter. Now we have to take the average of these three trials. Here all these three TR values are same. So the mean TR is 3.91 millimeter. So the mean thickness is 3.91 millimeter. Now we have to find the corrected thickness because of the zero error of our instrument we have to find the corrected thickness. The formula to find out the corrected thickness is mean thickness minus zero error. Mean thickness is 3.91 millimeter minus zero error is minus 0 0.01 millimeter. So it becomes 3.92 millimeter. So the corrected thickness of the given glass sheet is 3.92 millimeter. Now the final thing is we have to write the result. The thickness of the given glass sheet measured by screw gauge is see here this is in millimeter always we have to write the result in SI units. So it becomes 3.92 into 10 power minus 3 meter. The thickness of the given glass sheet which is measured by the screw gauge is 3.92 into 10 power minus 3 meter. In this way, we can measure the thickness of the given glass sheet by using screw gauge. 
Next our aim is to determine the volume of an irregular lamina by using screw gauge. Next our aim is to determine the volume of an irregular lamina by using screw gauge. Here one thing we should know is it is not possible to measure the volume of the lamina directly by the screw gauge. We can measure only its thickness. Then how can we measure its volume? In order to find the volume of an irregular lamina, what we have to do is we know that volume equal to area into thickness. The product of area and thickness gives us volume. So this thickness can be measured by the screw gauge and this area can be calculated by using graph sheet. First let us measure the thickness of the irregular lamina by using screw gauge. Here the object is irregular lamina and the dimension is thickness. We have to find the thickness of this lamina by using this screw gauge and we have to take three trials. First we have to place the lamina in between the studs and we have to rotate this screw outwards until we hear some sound. First we have to take the pitch scale reading. To take the pitch scale reading we have to see how many divisions can be seen in this pitch scale. There are four divisions including zero. This is 0, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. So totally 4 divisions can be seen in the pitch scale excluding 0 we can see 3 divisions. So the value of pitch scale reading is 3 millimeter. Next we have to take the value of HSR. HSR means head scale reading. To take HSR reading we have to check which division of the head scale is exactly coinciding with this pitch line. Here 67th division of the head scale is exactly coinciding with this pitch line. So HSR is 67. Here PSR is 3 millimeter and HSR is 67. Now we have to calculate TR. The formula to find out TR is PSR plus HSR into LC. LC means least count. PSR is 3 millimeter plus HSR is 67 into 0 0.01. 3 plus 0 0.67. 3 plus 0 0.67 gives 3.67 millimeter. So TR is 3.67 millimeter. By placing the screw gauge in different positions of the irregular lamina, I got these values. PSR is 3 millimeter, HSR is 68. For the third trial, I got PSR is 3 millimeter and HSR is 69. So, total reading is 3.68 millimeter and for the third trial, total reading is 3.69 millimeter. Then we have to take the average of these three values that is mean TR 3.67 plus 3.68 plus 3.69 divided by 3. If we simplify this we will get 3.68 millimeter. Therefore the mean thickness of the irregular lamina is 3.68 millimeter. Now we have to find the corrected thickness. The formula to find out the corrected thickness is mean thickness minus zero error. Mean thickness is 3.68 millimeter minus zero error is minus 0 0.01 millimeter. So the corrected thickness is 3.69 millimeter. This is in millimeter so we have to convert this into meter. Milli refers to 10 power minus 3 so it becomes 3.69 into 10 power minus 3 meter. The next thing is we have to find the area of this lamina by using graph sheet. For that what we have to do is first we have to place this lamina on the graph sheet and we have to draw the outline of this lamina on the graph sheet. See here this is the enlarged image of the outline which is drawn on the graph sheet. So by using this graph sheet what we have to do is we have to count the total number of full squares and 
total number of more than half squares. By using this graph, first we have to count total number of full squares. See here, this is one full square. This is one full square and this is also one full square. Let us numbering the full squares. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in this graph, thirty nine full squares are there. So, total number of full squares is 39. Next, we have to count the total number of more than half squares. See, this is more than half. This is one more than half. This is two. This is three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9 and here the total number of more than half squares 18. Here the numbers which are being circled represents more than half squares. The total number of full squares n1 equal to 39 and total number of more than half squares is 18 that can be represented by n2 n1 represents full square n2 represents more than half squares so the area of the lamina the formula to find out the area of the lamina is n1 plus n2 n1 is 39 plus n2 is 18 centimeter square here in this graph each box represents 1 centimeter so we have to take area in centimeter square. So the area of the lamina is 57 centimeter square but we have to convert this into meter square. Centi refers to 10 power minus 2. Centimeter square refers to 57 into 10 power minus 4 meter square. Now we have to find the volume of the irregular lamina. The formula is V is equal to A into T, area into thickness. Let us substitute the values. Area is 57 into 10 power minus 4 into thickness is 3.69 into 10 power minus 3 meter. If we simplify this, it becomes 210.33 into 10 power minus 7 meter cube. Because it is the volume, the unit of the volume is meter cube. So, the volume of an irregular lamina is 210.33 into 10 power minus 7 meter cube. Then the final thing is we have to write the result. So the volume of an irregular lamina is 210.33 into 10 power minus 7 meter cube. In this way we can measure the volume of an irregular lamina by using screw gauge. In this experiment we measure the diameter of the spherical ball, the thickness of the glass sheet and the volume of an irregular lamina by using screw gauge. Now I am going to end this session. In the next session I will meet you with the another experiment. Thank you.